today I'm going to be speaking on the subject of uh, randomness. Um, speaking of which... And then we cut to some really random content. I feel we're a generation whose uh, most profound things we have to say are to some extent random. I feel wonderful books are still being written, but no longer about uh, the human condition or the meaning of life or anything, but about um, Polish railway developments in the 1880s and elk breeding and sponge. We've been constipated for centuries by intention, order and intelligibility in the arts. We've been constipated by artists and philosophers living under the terrible <laughs> delusion that the platters of meaning they serve up for us are good for our health when they are nothing of the kind and then they get offended when we bath. <laughs> artists in particular have a habit of saying things like, oh Laura, my peach of bliss. I am violently in love with you. Kiss me as a wave <laughs> kisses a beach. And expecting this to mean all they want it to mean when we all know it means nothing of the kind. What am I trying to get at here though about randomness? An interesting feature of randomness, little acknowledged, is its subjectivity. We can say the nth digit of pi is random, but only as it appears to us. Pi's digits are no more or less random than those of 3.3333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333333
politicians while they were all still boxers resonates with the Nigerian filmmaker Eddie Young, as does Jazz Casual with Paul Winter, Bol Sete and Vince Giraldi, an album he found under a boulder at the Carbon Lay Intermediate Unit No. 21. On the subjects of units, scholars, even as I speak, remain without a translation unit to render the genus Cotoniaster Scandinavicus as ought whatever to anyone. I just loaf around in front of Ma Vidakulu, the Telugu divorce drama and film debut of Rabi Babu. Hardur, the Hungarian god of fire, watches all this from on high, giving Paul Ceylan all the inspiration he needs to write his collection Fadens on, and whose poems surreptitiously spell out a list of international presidential trips made by George W. Bush. Martha Wilson conceals similar catalogues in her explorations of female subjectivity, most notably thinking about Chinese flutes while being female. Edward Connor Marshall O'Brien's was the first yacht to fly an Irish tricolor over flute containing Liang province which had to be reached by time travel using the dateline as well as Kliuchi, Permsky district, Permkrai, which lay thousands of miles inland. His story is told, albeit rather obliquely, in the 1933 film Found Alive, which was vigorously propagated across Poland by Zygmunt Kubiak, confusing it for Mignon Mignon, the French 2010 hit single by singing groundhog René Latope. Largely due to this mix-up, Habana won the 1973-74 to Cuban National Baseball series over Traversare, the noted medieval Italian family who had been dead for centuries, not without leaving their mark, of course, on Sutton and Cheam, the constituency where Frances Mays based her memoir Under the Tuscan Sun, a book chemically rearranged in post by chemist James Vernon to render it more in keeping with the famous score written by Sanjay Chowdhury. Just as Salomon Vredeman de Vries fled to the Low Countries to escape the Inquisition, David Reich fled his book Who We Are and How We Got Here to advise Tom Betweek on the theology of Funky Winkerbean, largely by poaching that of the Church of our... The Covenant of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Buster Keaton, unable to use the general to play the general in the film The General, transformed into a sharp-snouted piranha and swam to the Kitat... Sugaru district town of Kanagi to speak with Osamu Datsai. After facing rejection, he swam on to Maddenstown, a village in County Kildare, mistaking it for San Nicolas district, Carlos Fermi Fitzgerald, where Carl Jordan at that moment was making the first ever description of Monacamus Isocruus, a beetle. Only the 1973 England rugby tour of Fiji and New Zealand, when it was legal for players to use TAR-O enzyme inhibitors, Tarasin A and Tarasin B, could compete with such displacement. Anne Ackerblom, woman's heavyweight judoka wrestler, looks out her window at Winona Lake Historic District and listens to the gentle airs of Risa Tachibana using the video game Risa no Yose Denesetsu, which reminds her, on top of everything else, of attending Brookfield East High School in Wisconsin, where she would plow through the list of number one albums of 1988 in Spain daily. Ah, youth, when to watch Canada romance film three gante 30 dina 30 second where to get on with the business of making and never eating pansanella before settling down to madha yanai kutam herd of mad evidence elephants intercut with images of the 264 families residing in Malafa, Mazandaran province, where to correspond with Ben Quiminera Taylor in his native Wallabing, Western Australia was all there was. I youth when but to build models of the HMS Lizard and Scour Gunter district for Naraduka's notable road junctions, where but to discern that Jimmy Jack and Jimmy the Explorer were nom de plumes, and that Petrophile Nivea was a shrub endemic to land not far from Wallabing, was to fill one's heart with liquidy dreams of Diuni Railway Station and the gentle visage of English antiquarian Sir William Burrell, second baronet. 
Now we dangle our feet over the Duba Kwa hydroelectric plant and watch Megalosura elongata get shredded by its turbines. You speak movingly about the case for additional support needs tribunals for Scotland and I respond by drawing this symbol which you don't recognize at first, but which using your primitive NE1000 Ethernet network card suddenly transforms into Pietro de Campo Fergoso's disastrous loss of the Genoan colonies in the East, only recovered using physiological chemistry by Franklin Churchill Bing centuries later. It all suddenly finds a place. Settimio Todisco was the only prelate to have met both Italian judoku wrestler Giuseppe Madolini and German tennis player Eva Pfaff. His achievement was considered so great he was placed in an SDBA special duty oxygen breathing apparatus until such a time as more human than human by white zombie reminded us as it should of the welterweight boxer Mike Glover who died at 27 leaving behind a wife and a one-year-old. The Masich Monastery, where so much of what I am talking about was first noticed, was built in Yazd in Tandras on the Hungarian grass plains and only moved to its present location via Matthews, Illinois, it being mistaken understandably for Sanbu in Japan's Chiba Prefecture by the Courageous Pilgrims. The salmon of that region, as in the tale of Sagama Vance, make for delicious apple pie. Carol Twobly ate some as she designed the Trajan-type face for Adobe, which might help to explain our bewilderment at the birth of Mike Pike, Canadian dual code footballer. There is so much chaos in the regional league, Bangkok and Eastern Division, and elsewhere, that one can only compare it to the post vac vaccination follicular eruption. The 1881-82 Home Nations Rugby Union matches, on the other hand, were a gentle affair. The sporting equivalent of the Gateway Green off-road cycling park in Portland, Oregon. Wojciech Janowski, before admitting to the matriarch's assassination, had one last flick through the volume of Sylvia Brinton Perea by his bedside and closed his eyes, trying to picture to himself Kathukthrai... Sorry, where he'd been so happy so long ago, and the recent 2010 American Carnage tour where he had finally seen his beloved Slayer and Megadeth. The Institute for Anarchist Studies rescinded his membership as soon as his stance on cannabis in Canada became clear, but not surprisingly after his support for 1978 Carter Bonds. All this went on in the socio-political context of the 2010-11 to 11 Southern Premier Amateur Soccer League with its eerie shadows of the 1906-07 Western University of Pennsylvania men's ice hockey season. The atmosphere is captured very well in Emmanuel in Space, particularly episode 4, Concealed Fantasy. The North American Development Bank invested heavily in Gibberella pulicaris, the fungal plant pathogen, to prevent potato-eating maniacs like Brazilian race car driver Guiliano Loscano from claiming the surname Hakinan without any Finnish roots to speak of. The children bathing in the waters of Lake Paramata are in for a nasty surprise when they realise the water is actually the spit of Josh Feidenberg, federal treasurer, treasurer for the Liberal Party. The this won't stop Francis Phoenix from being in two minds over whether the Cathedral Square in Vilnius should have a monument to Catherine II or not. She watches Pobitra Puppy's Bengali crime series shot from the lead actor's smartphones and rattles her dare catch dare catch her, to the voice of Holland season 6, hoping to drive such quandaries away. Steve Clark had similar quandaries when animating the Dick Tracy show. Should he include Grand Army of the Republic Hall in Massachusetts or just stick with the good old athletics Norfolk Island? His decision had profound effects on the students of Lake Catholic High School in Mentor, Ohio. If life was as simple as a list of Mucha Lucha episodes, we'd all be living it. Paul Petit, though not a coward, still only discovered the oldest cave art in Britain from the safe distance of Wakatne, a village in Maharaja State. Now that literally all people live in Tang Amor 
Kazarane. We can finally see the Kazarun County described so gorgeously by Nikolai Haitov in his newspaper editorials. But alas, although Parathum, Paramathma garnered a cult status for its out-of-the-box storytelling, it was not a film that appealed to its target audience. The residents of Antushovo, a village in Vladimir Oblast, all those of McCarthy Corner, a village in Virginia, they spent their time cheering on Team Ritger, powered by CycleTorge-Online.dk, as their rubbery wheels deleted all memory of the dynasty actor John James and the 2017 film Burning Sands. Animals of under-the-counter origins crawl over Lake and Heath Warren, a site of special scientific interest to scientists, but not to normal people. Normal people are too busy crying at any wife, an Oily Lee Jensen film they cannot see, and to Juju music, a King Sonny Ade song they can hear as we try to decide which is the holiest cedar in the Bible. We are distracted by our memories of Kostos Pagonis, the Greek footballer, which at once provoked fresh memories of Andrew Hunt. Char, the Ukrainian footballer. World domination recordings ceased to be a relevant indie record label when they moved operations to Pantoja in Toledo, Spain. As ever, we only knew Gary White's Dreamweaver from its use in Wayne's World. As for Garrett Droppers, Woodrow Wilson's ambassador to Greece and Montenegro, we have nothing to say. Only by reading up on Gabriel Marinescu in the Geliva Massacre were the good folks of San Ignacio Creek able to understand what Philip Pullman was getting at in his Book of Dust trilogy. What Mitch Anderson was getting at with the man who lost China is the last question on the tip in Canoe Valley High School entrance exam, whose students must be able to relate to Nicolas Bergier, suddenly commanded by the French king to catalogue all known Roman roads. Brett Anderson, the Canadian place kicker and slot back, disinterests me. I met him at the Israel <laughs> Shooting Federation, and he would not stop talking about Chamokta with its population of 56. All I wanted to get straight from him was the Buddhist view of marriage and the number of horizontal lines in the Bushka coat of arms. But he and that Italian extreme metal musician Alberto Coltini insisted with a bizarre metaphor that if the list of USL Pro Transfers 2012 was the body, shooting at the Commonwealth Games was the soul. The little dreaded English pirate captain John Phillips offered the 11 men of his schooner the ranks and insignia of the Soviet Armed Forces 1943 to 1955 as a test of their loyalty. Those who failed the test were impaled on the boomkin, and those who passed were treated to the lyrical blazings of average homeboy and an online diploma from Vinzon's Pilot High School in the Philippines. The captain himself then proofread his doctoral thesis on Victor Dyke and dreamt of using his funding to open a peanut farm on Antadnadava, Madagascar. After his love for Josefina Amalia Mnizhich was thwarted by Count Potocki, who impregnated her 11 times, he could no longer sing, wait a minute, just a touch, with the same relish as of yore. For years, he buried himself in drug discovery today in the Helm, the Heems Kringler account of Sigtrig, Gnu Passan's defeat to Gorm the Old. But just like the Angolan moth, Metarabellus Vacobapta. He could not convince himself that his surname was Varel or Varel, like the American kickboxer AJ Verrell or Dutch footballer Hans Varel. He was bound to remain chief judge of Kaduna State by the Nigerian constitution. The 1988 Bay Le Bears football team attempted to rescue mission, but they only got as far as Normanby Railway Station. Though countless appeals were launched to immigration New Zealand, the Russian badminton player Vadim Novozelov pointed out that the frictions which exacerbated the this drama was soluble by reference to objectivism and need not be bookmarked under the genre of paradoxography. We could all as human beings settle down to chilo kebab, then measure how much ingestion affects the protein coding regions of our fluffier slabs of DNA. The Tongan-born Filipino professional basketball player Azi Taulava leaps in to speed up the process by showing us the 1921 film Just Around the Corner. It tells the story of Lycia's Mount Chimera, notable for its constantly burning 
burning fires until it and all history was arrowed to death by Ukrainian archer Victoria Koval. The only thing to survive the catastrophe was the geotreacherous genus of beetle and the arimonia genus of plant belonging to the family Rosaceae.